seen it, chat. Oh, you bet your <laughs> so it's starting with this flag. <laughs> Oh, that's a photo too. This is one of the weirdest things to me is that you see an obscene display of wealth is the best way to put it, but then there are still people definitely um, living in really poor conditions, which is really annoying to see. You really feel it here. There was a lady last night wearing, I'm not even joking, can't make this up. Three Rolexes. Three. Three. Why? This is my first trip to Greece. <laughs> okay, we have a wall. A wall of postcards chat. Okay, which is the worst one? <laughs> the one with the donkey in two different fonts. Really bad font. Coomer. Oh, that's what we missed in Pompeii. She lied to us, chat. Okay, this one or this one? Okay, the one with the one in the middle. Okay, 50 cents. Yes. California. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you from Miami? No! <laughs> I look like a Latin American. I'm Greek. Yes. Yes. Yes, wait. No, I know. I'm born in America, so I speak Kalispera. My, uh, my mother is Irish, my father is Greek. Nice combination. Yeah. How many days you stay? Five days. Yes. Ah, that's the, I know what you're talking about. Ah, this one? And then upstairs. I think I saw last night. Okay, maybe I'll do a turn and come back. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Not a man of culture. <laughs> he doesn't know, Chet. He doesn't know. Oh, you like my dress? Yes. Oh, thank you very much. The blue. Where are you from? Switzerland. Switzerland. Oh, cool. It was a pleasure to meet you both. I'll send you an email. Bye. They were so cute. I had to speak to them. I had to speak to them. Grandpa wants an autograph. She said, uh, I love your dress. You are the best dressed person here all day. Okay, I don't even know if we can access anything this way, but we're gonna try. Boom. Holy crap, it's so windy. It's insane. Oh, I'm about to get blown over, you guys. <laughs> it's crazy. It's actually crazy. That's our guy. That's our guy. I think that's him. Just a second, I'm busy with this lady. Is the terrace open? It is open. It's open? Which way? This way. This way? This way? Yes. Okay. On. Thank you. All right, chat. We did it. We did it. I think the ideal is to get a boat though, but I couldn't stream that, but like ideal vacation would be a boat because you could really go to so many different islands and see so many different things 
and I, I love seeing how like culture changes in between places. The landscape and food changes. Anyways, yeah, not on this trip, sadly. Oh, I have a new podcast up, you guys. I'm on Justin Khan's new podcast. Check it out. And maybe one day, if he's in LA, but maybe we can do a secret sauce. That'd be really cool. So check out his podcast. up and lifted my chair up. Lifted my chair up completely. And you guys, there was a show earlier of girls from Miami in fluorescent bikinis and a blue dog. One of them had a blue dog. And they were in the pool shower flexing on each other. That's all I can say. And I'm definitely going to go on Instagram later and try to find the photos because I know they're going to tell change locations we're gonna go get donuts going to get donuts going to look this okay uh, I just wanted to order the look the look Mother again. And, one and one Greek coffee. Yeah. Okay. It's empty here except the old ladies. Did you have problems with jet lag? Yes, absolutely. I hate jet lag. Oh, they're here. That's the Paris stuff. They're super fresh. We didn't fail the speed run. Honey drip. Look at that drip. <laughs> oh my god. Fried goodness. Taking it home. You're mine. 
She's so skinny. I know street cats always have. Cats always have. <laughs> street cats always got something. See, she's itching. <laughs> <laughs> Helps with the buoyancy. <laughs> I did look for a rock to throw at you guys. I was not successful. I was not successful. We survived. We survived. Did it get warmer with the pee? I don't know what you're talking about, Meows. I don't know what, what you mean. Runner MD tipped three dollars and thirty-three cents. How do you figure out if a guy wants something from you or he genuinely likes and wants to hang out with you? Runner, thank you for the three thirty-three. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that's uh, not an easy question to answer, especially in this kind of setting. Um, I think with experience, you you can hopefully become a good judge of character but that also means you have to fail at some points in life right so you have to experience things and go through things to have a better understanding of the character of people and you also have to sometimes try not to worry about that like what's good what's gonna happen whatever is, will happen will happen 
good or bad. But I also think the conditioning of female sexuality through so-called religious morals over the centuries has extremely damaged society because it makes it harder for women to be liberated and interested in having fun. And through time, we've become conditioned to suppress our natural instincts where men can still be openly uh, open, open, open about their exploits and congratulated for it. And I think this creates a big issue in society. Yeah. If you get your ass slapped, blame your outfit. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't believe in that. You can't... It, it, it's the abuser who should be blamed. The abuser and abuser only if somebody is being harassed or abused. However, I will say, I do think there is even more of a dilemma right now because because of social media people are presenting themselves differently what you wear is not an open invitation to touch exactly all right everybody i will see you all tomorrow that's right see you all tomorrow thanks for hanging out thanks for the support thank you Hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a heart and subscribe to my channel or the squirrel will get you. Goodbye.